Now, these processes identify local issues and bring together those who may be unable to travel to the international meetings. They build capacity through dialogue on internet governance issues and extend the multi-stakeholder model of governance throughout the world. Finally, the IGF has used the power of the internet to enable many to join these meetings through remote participation. I believe there are more than 30 regional hubs participating in this meeting, and many workshops have had presentations via remote participation. Each main session has had a remote moderator. The IGF Secretariat has exploited online social networking and other media to extend participation and awareness of the IGF throughout the year. Now, finally, the, the contribution of individuals should not be underestimated in this process. At the outset, the scope for dysfunction within the multi-stakeholder environment was immense, especially after we all emerged from the bruising World Summit on the Information Society. Nitin Desai and Marcus Kuma have skillfully built trust between stakeholders within the lightweight, uh, self-funded or voluntarily funded secretariat in Geneva. Because they made this look easy, doesn't mean that it was. In all, the IGF is a vibrant process, growing in confidence and strength. Its flexible informal structure enables it to adapt and change rapidly without outside intervention. Long may it continue in this form.